All right, so here's a loop that we use a lot. We want to tie a loop uh, in the middle of a line, not necessarily at the end, and a loop that's going to be stable no matter uh, which direction it's pulled, toward the standing end, toward the working end, or in either direction perpendicular to the, the working line. So this is called the Alpine Butterfly. A couple ways to tie it. I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way. So I'm going to hold the um, standing end of the rope across my palm, and I'm going to make one, two complete turns around my hand, okay? so that the, the working end that's uh, going toward whatever, uh, whether, whatever other end uh, I'm having it do is on my fingers, right? and the standing ends across my palm. Okay? Then from here, I take the loop that's closest to my thumb, and I bring it across the other two loops, where it takes the third position. Then I go back and take the one closest to my thumb, which was the was the second or middle loop, but is now the first loop again, and I bring that over to the third position. Now that I've done that, I tuck that same loop behind the other two <clears throat> and pull it all the way through, and it'll look like a mess for a moment, till I pull that loop through tight, and then I dress the knot up by pulling on the standing end and the working end. Once that knot's been dressed up, I have what's called the Alpine Butterfly, which will resist collapsing when being pulled toward the working, the standing end, toward the working end, or in either direction away from the rope. This is a great knot to tie in the center of a line. It doesn't require the use of either end of the rope, and you can clip in a carabiner, or if this were larger, even use that as a maybe a foothold or a resting point in a line. <clears throat> Easy to untie. I push these two folds down and pull that twisted cord that twisted loop through and the knot kind of collapses. <clears throat> Let's see that again. I take the standing end, I wrap it around my hand twice, so I have three three loops across my palm. I take, starting with my thumb, I take the first one, make it the third. I go back, take the first one, make it the third, moving from thumb to finger, tuck that through, Pinch it with my thumb and forefinger and pull it through. Get as much as I need for a loop. It'll look kind of a mess at first. And then I'm going to pull the working and standing ends tight. And I end up with my Alpine Butterfly. My Alpine Butterfly loop in the center of my rope.